Did you really go to Disney World if you didn't come home with the merchandise to prove it? Hey guys, so if you've been following me, you know I went to Disney World back in September of 2020 and I may or may not have come home with a few things. So let's get ready. As all of us Walt Disney World goers know, Halloween doesn't start in October or there. It starts typically in August. Even though they kicked it off a little bit later this year, I still made it on time to get some Halloween merch. Now, I really only picked up three things that were Halloween. One was a food item. However, I could take it home. The Mickey Pumpkin Popcorn Bucket. Now this beauty costs you about 18 bucks. With that being said though, it does include the popcorn and to refill it, it's only two bucks. So like, why not? And it's never a true holiday season of any kind if you don't pick up a pin. As I am a huge Goofy Movie fan, they just happen to have this gem. Like, who doesn't want Max and Roxanne? So my third item was a critical item for the parks. I needed to wear one while I was there, so I looked the part and got a Halloween-themed mask. Very breathable. Although this isn't really Halloween-y, it does kind of fit the spooky mood. Um, it is in the parks all the time, but I got another mask and it was Haunted Mansion. Probably one of the cooler masks I've seen. When we're talking about masks, I'll show you the last one in my collection. I got Black Panther. His mask is so cool. Now let's go back to my love of a goofy movie that I just mentioned because I got the best phone case in the world. It's Powerline on my phone. Thank you, Tevin Campbell. Now I'm gonna show you what I got almost at the very beginning of my trip, and I'm so grateful that I did because I used this the entire time I was there. I got this amazing Loungefly. Like, I'm so happy that Loungefly started making this style bag because it's really practical. There's a lot of room in it, lots of pockets. It's awesome. Like this carried around my gimbal the whole time and I had lots of room for lots of other things. So I was able to buy things in the park with plenty of room for storage. To match that bag, you best believe that I got a matching wallet. Well, it's more like a card holder, but this thing is so cute. So it fits my IDs, all the cards, everything I needed for the parks could fit in there without me having to lug around my huge wallet. Now, because of that wallet, I decided I was gonna get another wallet similar to it to hold my business cards. But this one's so cute. It's a Mickey premium bar. So cute. They have lots of different styles and those are the ones that spoke to me. So that's why I got them. So this wallet fits about 20 of these, which works out really well. I can carry about 20 of them with me. Not that I give them out all the time, but if someone were to stop me in the parks because they see me with my gimbal and my phone recording, they'll be like, hey, are you a YouTuber? Why, yes I am. So in case you didn't know already, I'm Canadian. If you look close to the fabric, the bow and the headband are actually hockey jersey material and the mouse ears are actually hockey pucks. Now this and this look really good together, but it wasn't planned. So I wish I was smart enough to have thought of that. Beginning. Now next up, to play off of the Canada ears and show my true Canadianisms, I had to pick up this new Mickey Mouse hockey jersey from the Canada Pavilion in Epcot. Obviously his shorts had the, Mickey, the flag in it. On the back, very cool. because it's Canada World Showcase. I just thought it was pretty cute with the C representing Canada. But in case you don't watch hockey, the C also represents Captain. I'm not much of a Magic Band collector. I do really like them. I think the special edition ones are really cool. The ones that make the colors change. Um, but this one did really stand out to me. So I obviously had to pick it up. So it says it's limited release. It's the one with Walt on it, Walt with Mickey. And then on this side, it has the old, what the old plushes look like. Thank God they don't look like that anymore. I just thought it was really nice. It's classic, it's clean, and it represents how Disney started with the mouse. So the parks decided to bring back a whole lot of merch that was reminiscent of whenever I used to go to Disney World when I was a kid. Now first up, this t-shirt here, so flippin' cute. 
this logo, the color scheme, everything reminds me so much of Disney when I was a kid that I couldn't not buy it because I was just like, I should have had that t-shirt when I was that age. So there's this one. This t-shirt was part of the vintage and it was also part of the neon series that came out. So this one, I just find it so cute. It's so like simple and crisp and it's just, this is one of my favorite things I bought. I was actually wearing it in another video and it's so comfortable and it's just so old school. I had to, like, I, I couldn't say no to it. It's this black crew neck. It's, I love the neckline because it's not like a boat neck, but you can, it's like an off the shoulder kind of thing. And I love that it's embroidered. I remember sweaters that my older sisters would wear that had that kind of embroidery on them, which was super awesome. And I love all things 80s and 90s and it's weird, but that's me. Now this next shirt I'm gonna show you, I saw it and I didn't even think twice when I got it because I love this style of things. It's so cute. It Like I remember this kind of pattern when Disney would come out with it, but it also reminds me of the Saved by the Bell intro. So I had to get it. The shirt is cropped, but it's not like overly cropped. So if you wore high-waisted jeans, it's only gonna show a little bit of skin. It's not bad. And now it's time for the accessories that match that last shirt. Me and my neons, I love this ombre effect and I love the old school logo. Speaking of old school logos and neon, they came out with this item and it's gonna be hit or miss with people, but it was a major hit with me, so you best believe I have it. It's the Walt Disney World Neon Fanny Pack. Now to carry out these neon traditions, you need to finish it off with a backpack. So here we are with the translucent Mickey Mouse Neon Lounge Fly Backpack. So I guess this could also be classified as another neon item, since it is neon. Um, but I couldn't say no to this one either. I love the Muppets and this shirt is so cute. It's so cute. I actually wore this on the plane on the way home and I got so many compliments on it. So many. So while we're sticking on the old school train, it's not old school yet, but I guess one day it will be. Obviously needed to get some Splash Mountain merchandise before it was gone. I know I have a couple years probably before it's completely gone and where I can't get any souvenir merchandise, but this time I decided to get this pin here. This one is silver on the price scale, so I believe that one's $9.99. I also got this pin here. This one moves a little bit, so this one was in a higher price bracket. This one was, I think, $14.99. Like most people nowadays, I'm working from home, so I decided to get a little desk accessory. Got myself the little bell from Tower of Terror. I like that it says a Hollywood Tower Hotel on it and not Tower of Terror. This brings a bit of that story home. This is the second last item I'm gonna show you. This meant a lot to me to pick up um, with me being a massive basketball fan, huge sports fan, and me also having ties to the NBA. Um, it was kind of a once in a lifetime chance that you'll ever get to see merchandise like this, as this probably won't happen again. Um, but I did pick up this hoodie, this NBA playoffs hoodie. Um, obviously shows it was at Disney World, has Walt Disney World going down the sleeve. Um, it's super comfortable and it just means a lot to me because my season was cut short. Um, even though they kept going, my season was cut short. And with that being said, the last thing I have to show you is my absolute favorite thing I got. I know I said I'm not a magic band collector, um, but this one was just too cool to say no to. Um, so here it just looks like a black one, uh, but it actually has the Toronto Raptors logo on it and it has over here, Mickey playing basketball in a Raptors jersey with the other Toronto Raptors logo right there. If you're interested in any of the things I bought, I'm going to be putting the links below if they're on the Shop Disney website, as well as the price point right beside it. So that's it for my huge Disney haul. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I love buying it. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and comment down below of things that you've recently purchased or things that you might want to know a little bit more about the product. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on that bell. Make sure you get notified every single time I make a new video. Have an awesome day.